Hey everybody, this is Devin. Happy to bring you another video. Today I'm answering a question from the community. This question is from Aolinks, and he says, definitely a topic that I would enjoy seeing is training myself out of laziness. These past few months after my day job coming home, I just have no energy to want to conquer a task, etc. So can you train yourself out of laziness? Like, dude, I think that's why I made this YouTube channel. That, that's pretty much my life story. Anybody that knows me now today that hasn't known me for a long time would think that I'm super productive and that I work harder than like anyone they know. But not even five or six years ago, I don't even think it was that long, I was unbelievably lazy. I, I think I've got you all beat. Like everybody watching this video, maybe you know that I, I run this company and I do all this stuff. It was not like that for, for the most majority of my life. I sat and played video games for 15 or 16 hours a day, but I knew that I had to change my life. I knew that I had to do something about it. You can absolutely train yourself out of laziness. I think that that is something I thought about so much because when I, when I started in personal development and self-improvement, I didn't know if that was possible. And I, I always thought like, are these guys that, are you know entrepreneurs the ones you watch on youtube that they seem so productive and they seem so just alien almost it's like so hard to imagine yourself when you're playing video games and you're just wasting enormous amounts of time watching netflix or doing whatever it's so hard to imagine that you can be a person like that but if you are watching this youtube channel and you are watching this video you are doing so because you want to improve your life at some level and you know that you need to and that's how i started too i consumed a ton of self-development content. I read hundreds of books. I watched hundreds of hours of videos. I did everything I could to start getting my mind into that, that place where I believed that I could start being productive. And I, I think what everyone's looking for is they're looking for this, this like really fast cure, like that tomorrow you wake up and all of a sudden you're working 12 hours a day. And I would have gotten here a lot faster if I had realized that that was just not gonna happen. I, I would have been able to, <laughs> I would have been able to actually figure that out. Then I would have started on the right path way sooner because the right path is actually just doing small things consistently every day that get you on that route. And it sounds like for you specifically, you're working a day job. So you're working a nine to five. And by the time you're home at five, you're probably tired and you don't want to continue on projects that you know you should do. And what I've found is that if you have a really good strategy for getting those projects done, then you can circumvent that tiredness and, and be very effective. Let me explain. So let's say every time at 5, a, at 5 p.m. you get home and you decide that you're going to meditate for 20 minutes. And then after your meditation, you're going to have two hours where you just focus on the most important thing that you need to get done. And you set that up beforehand. So one thing that I do is that I try to set up all the important things that I need to do at the end of the previous day. So on Wednesday night, I'll make sure that I have everything for Thursday understood. That way, when I get there on Thursday, I can just get after it. And I don't have any questions. Be like, I don't have to like, it's really easy to procrastinate if you don't know what you should do. And you'll just end up doing nothing if you don't have a plan. So you need a strategy. And when you get back home at 5 p.m., you can... First of all, you have to change your state. You have to change your body. So it might not be meditation. You might actually need to amp yourself up, come to think of it, because you're tired. So you might need to exercise. You might need to immediately go for a run or jump on a bike or a cycle for, a for 20 minutes or something. Get yourself into that state to be re-energized. Then commit yourself before dinner to an hour or two of the most focused strategy you need to do to, to push your life forward. And then by seven o'clock, you can say, okay, I've gotten that critical stuff out of the way. And you'd be amazed what you can complete in two hours. It's unbelievable if you have a good strategy. So if you know what you're doing, you'll be able to effectively master that. And I can't tell you, I, all of my productivity and everything that I am now is just because I strategized and I became this person. Like you can do it. I, I'm, I've tried to be a living example of that. It's one of the reasons why I decided to make this YouTube channel. Like I said in the beginning of the video was I did that because I want to show people that it's possible. You know, I was sick of looking at super motivated people that are just saying, yeah, I've got it in my DNA. Sorry, you're screwed. Like you can't do anything about it. It's just not true. No, like you can build yourself into whoever you want to be. 
And there's a, if you actually look hard enough, there's a lot of examples of people that have done that. And I just kind of want to be one more. So yes, you can train yourself out of laziness. Yes, you should. But the way that you do it is through consistent small self-improvement. Start with a ritual to get yourself into state when you have the time. And if uh, for all of you that are watching that need to do this in the morning, I start with meditation and that gets me going. And then after that, just have your strategy ready from the previous day so that you can actually spend the two to three hours that you need to get after it. And you only need an hour. You only need 30 minutes of effective time. That's way more than you're doing right now. So if you act, so don't think about like, oh, I need to do another perfect eight hour workday from five to 2 a.m. You don't, you know, you, you just, you just need to focus on that hour of time or two hours or however you much you can think you commit and make that consistent because you'd be un like in a month, in two months, three months, you will be amazed at what you can create if you're dedicating even an hour a day to that time. Just an hour a day of yoga changed my life completely and made me into a totally different person than just exercise for an hour a day. It's unbelievable what you can accomplish. So don't discount it. Just focus on that consistency and doing things one by one. Okay, I hope that video and that answer was useful for you and for anybody else that's watching this. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Toss me a like. It would help a lot and share it with your friends. That would help a lot too. I'm trying to get this YouTube channel out there. So thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you again for the next video.